explore out there. Hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. Howdy. How are you guys? Dorsman, it's nice to see you, man. Well, like see online i see you in person all the time of course but <laughs> nice to see you here nate i'm glad you have a working toilet by the way i know i know i mentioned earlier uh in chat that you know having a working toilet's nice and all but you know nice to just let you know in, in person with voice whatever you want to call it too i'm glad you got a working toilet bro howdy everyone how you guys doing we're playing some RimWorld tonight. I feel like I was going to say something else. Oh, yes, pancakes. Thank you. This is the important bit. Uh, how early are these pancakes happening? Because, like, Jonathan, Dorsman, sir, I'm sure you know this about me by now. I don't do mornings. <laughs> I do like me some pancakes. Don't get me wrong. I love me some pancakes. But I don't love me some mornings, okay? mornings are a hell nah you know what i do like though pancakes for dinner pancakes for dinner are fantastic especially if you make up some like i don't know a little bit of uh sausage gravy or something like that and then you just dump that bitch over some great or yeah you dump your sausage gravy over gravy you've heard that here first ladies and gentlemen uh that needs to be a quote you a quote add you pour your sausage gravy over gravy oh well, that didn't work <laughs> is it I forget how to add a quote nope it's not that is it add quote add quote look i don't know how to do stuff there we go <laughs> there we go quote added anyways howdy guys Rue, hi welcome you're going to the state fair and your second ever concert who concert who concert what is it the who is, is that the concert you're going to the concert of the who um okay so our colony is falling apart trying to steer us toward you know the game here our colony is going to die essentially um like yeah it's pretty bad guys like there's some problems um so <laughs> i think what we're gonna have to do because we have like no food besides some we do have a little bit of raw food now which is good um but like winter's coming and that's all the raw food we have so i think we're gonna have to abandon everybody having scheduled times right um i'm still gonna build houses for everyone individual houses and little like storefronts and stuff like that but i don't think we're gonna be able to have you know forcing people to stay in their own home time and and work there and whatnot i think we're gonna have to just look everybody's got to pitch in and do their thing bro because otherwise we're gonna get fucked and not in a good way we're gonna get fucked in a bad way so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and hit play here i already before the stream started up i went ahead and removed the the schedules that we had like forcing people to work and stuff so now they they just head to their house and then go to sleep at night that's all i'm forcing them to do and then they can wake up basically whatever time they want and do and do whatever essentially but yeah, uh, so the other thing we do need to do, though, is change their work schedules. Essentially, what I want to do is just, like, this schedule here, I just want to apply that for all the time. We got a crashed pod or a crashing pod. Is there, are there people here? No. Yes, there is. There's Gumpy and Ava. Hi, Gumpy. Hi, Ava. Um... I would capture you guys. I guess technically we have the spot because this one guy... Noodle, thanks so much for the five bits. Love, I appreciate that. Um, this guy here kind of died and and these guys ate his head. And then this one died. And so all that's left is this one. 
Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Um, so we do technically have space. Why are these guys... What is going on? Are we being raided right now? <laughs> oh, I did, I'm confused. Um, okay, well, it's fine. Chocobo's just... Chocobo's just shotgunning people down. I don't know. I Look, I have no idea what's going on. I'll be honest. It's been two weeks since we played. And in that time, I've forgotten everything. Besides the fact that we're pretty much fucked. Uh, so you're a guest. And you're, like, dying. You must have been a raider or something. And then... You as well. Look, we're just gonna leave them for dead. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna grab a couple people, and we're gonna we're gonna capture Gumpy, and Mr. Noodle. You're gonna come over and capture Ava, and uh, that should be fine. It should be fine. Everything's fine. Yes, Gumpy, Gumpy man, Gumpy man. <laughs> That's a uh, Superman's brother. He's a little less known, you know. He doesn't get as much uh, screen time as Superman does. But uh, look, we need we need some love for Gumpy man too. All right, we can't we can't ignore. Gumpy man, you can't pretend he doesn't exist any longer. <laughs> oh god. Jonathan, I saw what kind of pancakes you're making. You had me at chocolate chips, and then you lost me at powdered sugar and syrup. It's just too much. Can't do that. That's that's way too much sugar, man. Especially I'm a I'm a savory kind of guy, you know what I mean? I like my savory stuff, hence why I put my gravy on my gravy. All right, you don't put gravy on gravy unless you like that savory. There's a quote for you right there. Uh, <laughs> anyways, okay. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna change this stuff around. We want to copy this and then, I guess maybe can we just like paste it here? Nope, it doesn't work that way. That would be too easy. Um, what if we copy and then like disabled scheduled priorities and then paste? Nope, it doesn't work that way either. Well, <laughs> okay, I guess what we can do, it's kind of annoying, but we can just do like a single click on everything here, kind of like this. Like just take it down and then back up and that should set the priorities for the entire time that we have selected, which just so happens to be all day, baby. All freaking day. Feel like the mayor shouldn't probably be capturing people. Look, the mayor has a couple different duties they have to take care of. Um, one of which is a little less savory than the others. You know, capturing people. That's just that's just something you got to do sometimes, man. It it is what it is. Um, we're gonna follow Chocobo around just because I don't know. It'd be more interesting to follow someone while I just mindlessly right click and left click things for a minute here. So that's that's what we're gonna do. Just gonna right click, left click, right click, left click. There we go, yeah. Dude, we got that clickety action. There's stuff going on, and I have no idea what it is, but I'm sure it's nothing bad. As long as it's not bad, then it's good, right? Those are the, those are the only, those are the only two possible outcomes. Uh, I do see Chocobo is now binging on alcohol, so. I mean, I feel like that's that's good. That's a good use of time when the colony's falling apart. I can't quite blame him, though, either, you know? Because, again, the colony is kind of falling apart, dude. It turns out, trying to play a game in a way that it wasn't meant to be played, it's rough. <laughs> it doesn't quite work out so well, and I'm not sure why, guys. Make clothes and apparently supply food from my house? Yes. Well, I mean, like, you know, that's that's a normal thing people do. You gotta think, like, this isn't, like, modern-day living here, okay? This is, like, ancient-time living, you know? I'm sure people made... made... clothes in their own home back in the day. Hell, I'm sure some people make clothes still in their own house now. Like, right now. Not, like, right this minute now, but... You get what I'm saying. You know, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so now that we have just normal priorities for everyone, we need to um, make sure that it's set actual kind of, like in a decent kind of way. Um, so the, the most important things, we got to have someone growing stuff as their main job all the time. We got to have someone cooking stuff as their main job all the time. Um, somebody hunting somewhat often is nice, 
but not necessarily like not necessary doesn't need to be the top priority they can kind of be the same as the uh as the grower uh salamander has gotten sick from infection well that's not one of our people so it's fine don't care um <laughs> and then uh plant cutting is important constructing there you go those are kind of like the 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 top priorities and then um researching is nice because we can you know learn to do new things and and whatnot so anyways so let's just let's just look here shall we okay important things important things are cooking who's our best cook chocobo who's our best hunter tom can you grow tom you can't because i kind of want the the yeah i think the hunter is gonna have to be maybe chocobo Chocobo's the best. I mean, they have some passion for hunting. So look, Chocobo, you're going to you're gonna hunt and cook, okay? If we have anything to be hunted, do that first, and then cook, and then everything else is like next priority for you. Uh, I guess a three is fine. Actually, you know what? Since we're gonna have a dedicated planter now, growing can go down to a four for you. Uh, four, four, four four hauling will leave at a three maybe no we're gonna have haul and clean set to four for now for everyone uh research can still be a high priority for noodle no matter what we have them do of uh, research and managing because we do want someone researching but they're gonna they're probably not gonna get much researching done at you know like right now because yeah we got we got bigger fish to fry uh, okay, so that takes care of cooking and hunting. Um, yes. Okay, constructing. Our best constructor, sadly, is Chocobo. That's not good. Um, our next best constructor is Mr. Noodle. Also not great, because I kind of want you to be researching things, but I guess you're gonna have to do that instead. And then... Four, four, uh, growing. You're also like the best grower though. So you know what? You have a skill of what, three? Okay, you're not gonna be the constructor. I take it back. You're gonna be the plant grower. Although that'll probably have you even busier, <laughs> but you're the best one. So it's gonna have to be fine. Tom, congrats, you're the constructor. But in the me, but we're gonna set up noodle first. Okay, so growing, that's a two. Growing's very important. That's, it's just, it's your life's passion, I guess. Um, we're just gonna turn off mining for now. <laughs> Cause whatever, I don't know, man. And then everything else is set to four, that's that's fine. Oh, you're also the warden and the animal handler. Oh my God. Oh no, Tom's the animal handler. So you can have, you can have a token animal handling, just like if you get bored and have nothing else to do, then fine, whatever. Uh, okay, so constructing is gonna have to be, it's gonna have to be Tom. Tom, you're not good at it. You would much rather be hunting, but... I mean, I guess we could have you hunt and construct. Let's go ahead and put that down to a three for Chocobo, the hunting. Tom, you can hunt and then construct. That's fine. You suck at cooking, so we're just going to turn that off. Um, Chocobo collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. Um... <laughs> Our visitors hate us now because they had the worst time in the world hanging out with us today. So, I mean, that's that's fine. I get it, guys. I, I don't blame you. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, Tom, you are going to construct and then hunt? Or hunt and then construct? We'll hunt and then construct, I guess. Um, growing can be just like a priority four for everyone that's not doing it. Just, you know, something to do, I guess. I do want people to cut plants. So you can keep that. Smithing, tailoring, all this other stuff, this is all gonna be fours. You can, look, we don't have time to be doing this stuff. Although, with that said, getting a dedicated crafter would be fantastic. You really enjoy fishing. So you can, you can fish a little bit, that's fine, yeah. You can fish and then cut plants. I mean, I guess fish is a nice, a nice source of food. So having someone do it, and it makes sense to have the person that's hunting do it, I suppose. 
<sighs> we're gonna we're gonna turn that on and then we'll see like if he's eating up way too much time doing it i guess following chocobo is probably not the world's most exciting thing right now considering that all chocobo does is sleep at the moment um <laughs> so that's, that's fine whatever and then the other important thing what i say the other important thing was we have we have a cook we have a hunter we have a constructor we have a grower everybody plant cuts we have some research and stuff going on although not a ton so i guess the last thing is just having someone a little more dedicated to um hauling and cleaning is also really nice to have so who's not really doing anything chocobo you're doing a lot l you're not doing fuck all you suck at everything except for crafting so your thing oh no we were gonna leave that on level four for everyone you're going to be primarily i think a regular crafter right um and then oh, i hate the way i'm gonna have to set hers up different than it well i guess we can just put your plan cutting down one and then we'll have you do like art and all that other stuff and then you're also going to do hauling and cleaning as kind of a priority um there we go that's that's how that's gonna work guys oh my god hopefully this helps turn the the colony around a little bit um as a part of this i think something else that's gonna be important to do is just get get some like more building set up and things like because right now the way we have priority set up like this stove in this house is mr noodle's stove inside mr noodle's house which by the way mr noodle i uh realize you grew oh well salamander died uh no wonder they hated their stay they got an infection uh i'm pretty sure one of them was also like stabbed to death uh, <laughs> it's fine everything's fine anyways you wanted to grow the size of your house so let's uh we'll do that we're gonna we're gonna give that to you um grow your land mark is complete okay dope i have no idea what else to put in your house i mean as of right now the new room that we added to your house got fucking torn down by some rude people honestly they were just they just weren't very nice so don't know what else to add into your weirdly shaped home but you get more you get more space you get more stuff in general man so let's go ahead and grow it though before i forget uh expand allowed area home for mr noodle you can have i'm i have no idea like sizes for things so you can just have that much more space there you go your area is now 23 by 27 let's make it let's make it even bigger go all out 25 by 29 look at that land you have a huge house a huge house yes you do it's a uh it's an interesting mask you're wearing there noodle is that uh is that like the customary mayor garb or something like that is that just what what mayors wear when they're doing their mayoral duties you know one of these uh i'm assuming it's a tribal mask i'm not i'm not positive to be honest but i mean you look good though you look good noodle um it's a choice that's that's for sure anyways <laughs> what's everyone else up to chocobo how you doing these days man you're washing with wooden primitive well okay i mean that's that's fine i suppose uh oh god we're like we're down to our last 15 food we do have three cooked meals now but we only have 15 food thankfully more is being picked literally right now more is being picked so that's that's good actually that's that's really good um oh no we do have that's right we do have this uh the inn here has a small restaurant attached to it i forgot about that so we do have a little bit of that going on does everyone still have their weapons did we like drop things no okay good 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 everyone's looking okay all right, all of our all of our new prisoners. How are you guys? We didn't even check them before we took them as prisoner. Quick sleeper, beautiful, incapable of all dumb and skilled labor. Yeah, you know what, Mr. Gumpy, sir? 
you, uh, congratulations, you won the lottery, you get released. <laughs> because you suck. Uh, you're already set to recruit. And Ava, how are you? You're capable of firefighting, so you're a perfectionist, pyromaniac, insomniac, and you're tough. I mean, that doesn't seem all that bad. Resistance 13. Sure. Sure, we'll, we'll capture... We'll capture Ava. Ava seems... Ava seems okay. I think we can handle Ava. We can have them. We can have them here. <laughs> can't, believe, can't believe this dude's literally incapable of all labor, basically. <laughs> like, all dumb labor? Yes. Skilled labor? Yes. I can't do any of it. <laughs> What's his actual... Before he before he escapes the map, which is going to be very quick. So he can shoot things. He can do melee. He can take care of animals. He can do art, medicine, but he's... <laughs> but he's terrible at both. He's no intellectual skill at all. But he's very social. He's very good at talking to people. And he's very good at hitting people. That's it. That's that's all he can do. Yeah, I think I think we dodged a bullet with Gumpy there. You're you're free to go, Gumpy. Um, yeah. <laughs> My God. All right. Well, how's everyone else doing? We we checked Chocobo. We checked Noodle. L. What are you up to these days, man? You you doing anything fun? You're burying some people. Some some things are actually getting done the colonies being cleaned up a little bit what is this 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 sorcery <laughs> yeah this is how you're meant to play this game it turns out the way i was doing it is not necessarily you know the best way but it sounded fun i still think it was a fun way to play it it's just a bad way to play it because it doesn't work too well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we'll do we'll do nine. Nine by three. That seems like a good number of graves to have. Why not? Doing some cleaning. Excellent. I do like some cleaning being done. This place is a freaking mess. Let's be honest. Now you're taking a nap. Okay, so so L's doing their thing. That's good. Tom, well, Tom's sleeping right now. Let's see what Tom does when they wake up. I want to, like, make some of the, the roles, the jobs and stuff official, but it's like, bro, we have no people. <laughs> like, that actually follow our religion. They died, because we only had three. We never got to spread our religion before our first death. Mrs. Nate Allister um, and their unborn child passed away before before we had a chance to teach people of the wonders of the, the Rutualites, the Rutuals, and the Rulites, whatever. I don't, I don't know, man. English is hard. We should know this by now. Quest expired? That's fine. I don't think we're... <laughs> I don't think we're any place to be taking quests right now. Right now, we're just trying to figure out how to handle our food situation. Tom's doing some hunting, which is honestly really fucking good, dude. Like, please and thank you. <laughs> Hopefully somebody butchers that here soon. Um... Cause like, okay, you're rotting. That's why we're not eating you, but you're fresh. That's a cooking thing. So hopefully, hopefully Chocobo, who's our cook? Chocobo. Okay. So yeah, you must've already done some, some slaughtering. Cause we're, we're getting actual meals again. This is good. This is good. Okay, good things are happening, guys. <laughs> oh my god. So, we just have to roleplay now, you know? Like, all of your little gardens and things, you're probably not going to be taking care of it. But that's fine. It's just, it's, you know, it's still your garden. You just, you hired the town gardener to, to take care of it for you. That's all. Things like that. Noodle, speaking of, 
I'll let you I'll let you take your pick, Noodle. Since uh, we probably have way too much stuff growing, all things considered, we're probably going to need uh, some more gardeners at some point, or maybe some gardening robots if we get really lucky. Uh, but Noodle, what kind of food would you like to grow, or what kind of thing would you like to grow on your on your land here? Because we got we got all this space here. We'll say uh, I don't know. These zones make no sense at all. We'll say a 7x7 seven seven grid of something that can be grown there. Do you have any, uh... Do you have any, any preferences? Yeah, we're cutting back those zones a little bit. There's a lot of different options to pick from. Right? There's fiber corn, wheat... Wasabi, tomatoes, sweet potatoes, soybeans, strawberries, sugarcane, sunflower, sorghum, rice, radish, pumpkin, peanuts, peppers, your favorite, pineapple, potatoes, peas, onions, okra, oats, hay, lettuce, mint, nutrifungus, but I, that can only be grown in like caves and things, I think. Yeah. Green beans, garlic, Eggplant, corn, cassava, cave moss, probably only in caves, celery, chickpea, carrot. Look, you get the point. There's a lot. You can see it all on screen. Maybe, depending how small you have the screen right now, Noodle. Brussels sprouts, cabbage, another one of your favorites, carrots, buckwheat, peppers, berries, blueberries, barley, allspice, agave, beets, if I didn't say that. You got a, you got a handful of uh, flowers. And and some some other some other just like random plants. Coffee. There's coffee plants. We don't have any way of making coffee right now, but we can grow it. Maybe that's for later. Um, if you don't pick, I'm going to pick for you, and it's gonna be garlic, I guess. Do we have anyone growing garlic? Um cabbage, corn. Those must be berries. Heel root. Heel root's nice. Over here we got strawberries, rice, cotton, potatoes. More potatoes. Potatoes are like your base crop. That makes sense. They're growing a bunch of peas. I remember Chocobo was growing some smoke leaf because, I mean, I'll let you infer that. Tomatoes and celery. Yeah, so I don't think anyone's growing garlic. So congratulations, Noodle. If you don't pick one for yourself, you're growing some garlic. I'm sure you're fine with that, though. You're obsessed with garlic. Rue says, oh, by the way, Nate, guess who's doing a full game marathon for Dragon Age? Wait, what? Are you, are you just, like, sitting in one spot and playing Dragon Age until Dragon Age is done? Like, <laughs> is that what you mean by full game marathon? Like, just a never-ending game? Or, well, not never-ending, but you get what I'm saying. Just, you know, a forever game. Uh, since we're not locking people in their homes anymore, we are going to delete some of these extra stockpiles. And uh, I guess we'll leave the butcher spot, though. We're still going to leave. We're still going to leave the individual stockpiles for food, but we're going to get rid of the, the wood one. Although, you know what? I changed my mind. I've changed my mind because it makes sense at the end of the day, you know, for people to have their own, oh God, we got new lovers. That's terrible. Uh, for people to have like a little log pow outside their house. That's what people do, you know? People people do that in real life and things. Um, okay. So an abandoned lab, we have a mad rat, so we're gonna have to deal with that. Uh, okay. Wait, is this the mad rat? No. I don't see this mad rat. Look, I'm sure it's fine. We have everyone set to fight, or at least we should. But there's new lovers. That's good and bad. Good because that means they'll take up one room together. <laughs> uh, bad because, fuck, <laughs> if one of them dies again or something. But apparently Chocobo tried to attract L by telling a story about the relationship between morality and monism. Monism? L became aroused and agreed to become Chocobo's lover. Congratulations, Chocobo. You now have a lover. Um, so your bed is going over here, and then we're going to get you a new double-sized bed. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Um, 
That means we'll free up a house. Also means we're gonna have to annoyingly reset things, like... I guess really just this. <laughs> just the stove. Oh, and then we will need to rename the stockpile too, but... Yeah. So that's fine. Let's, uh, let's see what some people are up to. Chocobo, you're just cooking meals. We know what you're doing. Who's the, who's the town builder again? Is it Tom? Because really, I want some things to get, to get built. Okay, yeah. Tom is, okay, well, right now he's, okay, there we go. He's building a grave. You're playing through DAO, DA2, and DA Inquisition? Is that, that's what the I stands for, right? I've only played the first one, so I do want to play the other ones at some point, though. Inquisition, honestly, I know a lot of people complained about it when it came out, but that one looked the best to me. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty interested in, in Inquisition, man. Like, honestly. Wait, why are you planting things? Oh, because we're making you stay home for just an hour. Okay. So you're taking care of your plants and stuff for just a little bit. You're doing a tiny bit of your own gardening. And for that reason, I guess everyone should be on a token, like on a token level can do whatever. Oh, Mr. Noodle, you also have to uh, talk to people, like entertain guests. But you have to do your real work before you entertain guests. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, wait. Research is set to a two. I guess research can be set to a three. As much as that hurts me, honestly. And then, yeah, three. Do we want you to do your real job of growing and plant cutting before? No, no, you have to warden first. And then you can do that stuff, and then you can entertain guests. I mean, we'll see how much time entertaining guests actually takes up, I suppose. If it doesn't take up that much time, then, like... Then, then you can do it first. Uh, anyways, we were just doing a token thing on everyone... So the tiny bit of time that they're actually at home, they they can do whatever the fuck they want. It's not going to be like a good order to do things in necessarily, but they can do it. And that's that's what's important at the end of the day, right? That they that they can do things. Hey, we got some ambrosia. I don't really care. Yes, keep hunting cuz that meat is basically our only source of food right now. Okay, L, you're supposed to be hauling things. Are you? Are you doing a good job at that? You're refilling wash tubs. I guess that's one problem of having wash tubs everywhere and refueling campfires. I mean, that's that's fine. I suppose. Oh good, we got a prison break. Uh so grab everyone. Who's breaking out of prison? Is it both of them? Are both of them trying to break out of prison? Melee attack. I'm assuming it's both. Wait, maybe not. I Yeah, I'm assuming it's both. So... Beat the living shit out of these people. <laughs> Noodle! You're getting hit! Hey, Jogobo! Welcome to the stream, man. I'm glad you can make it. You got a new lover, by the way, just so you know. Um, okay, everybody now, I need you to... No, not undraft. I need you to melee attack Ava before Mr. Noodle, our mayor. Our town mayor is going to die <laughs> because they're getting the shit kicked out of them for being the world's worst warden, I guess. <laughs> okay, come on, guys. It's four on one. Somebody get this guy down. Elle's chatting about getting drunk with Chocobo. I mean... <laughs> Glad you guys are having a fun time. All right. And then uh, Noodle, who's not doing anything? Noodle and L. You two can be undrafted. You're fine. You're probably bruised up a bit, but I'm sure you're fine. And then you two, undraft. Okay, Noodle, how bad are you? Yeah, see, so you got some bruises. A, a lot of bruises, actually. What are you doing? You're consuming a simple meal. Okay, go ahead and consume your meal and then rest. Go get go get some sleep, man. <laughs> get yourself feeling better. You can hardly walk. Oh, because your pain is extreme. Okay, you know what? Go straight to resting, actually. Do that instead. Somebody will come feed you. <laughs> I think I think that's fine. We'll have somebody give you some food. You're not you're not feeling so well. 
Hey, we got a gift from these people that were just hanging out here, watching our prison break go down, so that's good. Uh, Tom, how bad are you? Probably just some... Yeah, no, you're fine. Um, L, you also just have a cracked jaw and some, <laughs> and some other things. Who's our doctor? When I was looking at our work schedule, I guess I kind of ignored that. Oh, good. All the people that got hurt are the doctor. That's excellent. Okay, well, the least hurt one, I think, is Tom. And I know, Tom, you're supposed to... Noodle! What are you doing? <laughs> you're supposed to be laying in bed, damn it. <laughs> you don't listen. <laughs> oh, I thought we took the last meal. No, we just... <laughs> That's good. Uh, Ava has gotten sick from infection. Excellent. I love it. You got a heist going on? You know I got to get in on that, too. Let's go, dude. Heist it up. Well, this is going well. It's it's going better than it was. We have some actual cooked food here. So, like, I mean, that's, the, you know, like I said, that's better. Tom, I realize you literally just laid down, but <laughs> we're getting rid of that bed, and we're going to put a better bed in. Um, if I could find the furniture tab, like, not a dumbass. Just a regular wooden bed right there. Okay, yeah, sleep in that other bed. Chocobo, your bed is moved now. That's good. We'll give you a double bed so you can sleep with your lover. Just realize your room layout's different than the other one, and that kind of bugs me, but it's fine. Um, for now, relink that to that bed so you get your own private bathroom buff at least. Is there still a mad rat running around? Oh, no, Carl's eating a guinea pig. That's, that's fine. <laughs> Carl's allowed to eat some guinea pigs. I'm the only one that died. Imagine that. Can't say I'm surprised. All right, Mr. Noodle, you're resting. That's good. L is also resting. Tom is... Okay, you're treating Noodle's bruises, which which is good. Because, I mean, <laughs> they're not feeling so good right now. All right, you're all patched up. You're good to go. You're still in a bit of pain. Technically, it's severe pain, but <laughs> but you're doing okay. You're doing okay. This is the last duel I'm doing, because <laughs> you cheat. See, I told you. Every single time. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how, but you cheat. Alright, who's who's our builder again? One of these days I'll actually remember this stuff, but... Yeah, it's Tom. Okay, Tom, how you doing? You're, you're not too bad. We don't have any wood. Do we need to up plant cutting? Everyone's plant cutting is going up by one. Besides, besides Tom, because it's already a level two for you. Wait, not Tom, Mr. Noodle, besides Mr. Noodle. Growing food's more important. An anima pod? Anima nexus tree, what? Um, we're gonna leave that. My streak continues. How? Every time, man. Every time. The dude cheats. He hacked the Matrix, I'm telling you. That's what happened. Ava, why aren't you in a bed? Like... There's plenty of beds. There's even rocks for you to use as... as <laughs> you know, as... um pillows like you should be good to go man i don't see the problem here all right we got some smoke leaf going that's good okay yeah we're not celebrating authoritarianism <laughs> not happen um <laughs> now you're gonna try and do a uh, rue nate very nice, very nice. What was I gonna say? Okay, probably not a good idea, but we're gonna try and have people stay at home for two hours. <laughs> we're gonna see how bad that fucks things up. Wait, do you not have enough points to duel? Or did the duel request already end? Yeah, you don't have to type an amount for the accept thing supposed to just work 
Ava has died, probably because you weren't in bed, you dumbass. Also, some lions wandered in or something? Some battle animals? I didn't click on it right. I right-clicked instead of left-clicked, so I don't know where they are. I'm sure that's fine. Wherever they are. Whatever they are, exactly. I'm sure they won't cause any harm or anything, right? Rue, I'm guessing you don't have enough points. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't know. It's fine. Everything is... Oh, there it is. Lion 1. Look at you. Majestic little lion, bro. All the quests have failed. We are going to go in and just <laughs> ignore all the quests. That's ideologies. Where's the quests? I don't know. Maybe the exclamation mark. Yeah, you see this one? We're not doing it. Or that. Or that. <laughs> Learn an ancient comp. Nope, not happening. <laughs> we're we're staying home, damn it. You're hunting a donkey. I mean, a donkey's fine, I guess. But you do. Oh yeah, you have thirty-eight thousand points. Weird. You have no idea why. Oh, you know what, Nate? It's because you're typing the at. You don't type the at sign, remember? Oh wait, you typed at stream all the steam whenever you did me. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> you won the duel. No, it worked that time. I don't know, man. Look, I'm just I'm just here for the strims. I don't I don't know anything about the duels and stuff. I'm kind of an idiot. Mr. Noodle's having a major break risk. Yeah, you're not you're not having too good of a time right now, are you, Noodle? Okay, hold on. I just want to select Noodle for Christ's sakes. Uh do 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 What's your problem, Noodle? Like, why are you in such a bad mood? You're in intense pain. Um, an innocent prisoner died. You were responsible. Oh, yeah, you were the warden. <laughs> so, one of the people that you were taking care of died. Yeah, yeah. You're also very hungry. Apparently, you weren't being fed. That's good. You and L got into a fight. So, I mean, look. All in all, like, <laughs> you're fine. You also have a lion just chilling in your room for some reason. Why did the lion come into your room? Did they join? Wait a second. Did they... They joined the colony. Oh, the lions are our pets now. Can they be trained to haul? They can. Cool. Well, train them to haul, dude. <laughs> Who's starving? Chocobo is starving. Well, get up and get some food, dumbass. <laughs> I don't know. An extra foo. Noodle needs extra love and extra foo. Did you just eat a raw egg, Chocobo? Wait, are we out of food? Oh yeah, we're completely out of food again. That's good. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, okay. Look, things were going well for like a moment or two, and then and then they didn't. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, well at least we're harvesting some berries right now, so like we should be okay. Hopefully. Hey Psycho, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream tonight. His name is Leonard. Posture check? You got it, man. I can only like the way my desk is, I can only get so close. So I can't sit up perfectly straight and still use the keyboard, Bob. Posture as much as I can. Let's go. And a stretch? Well, you should have done it the other way around. <laughs> a good back crack to go with that uh go with that stretch. It's fine. I'll still 
I'll still sit up straight. Huh. You don't know the name Leonard? Wait. Was it Leonard or Leonard? I thought I thought Noodle typed Leonard. <laughs> Unless is that a is that a uh, is that a thing that I don't know? Did I say hi to my brother? No, is Optijax here? I didn't even see you. Optijack. Optijack? I'm scrolling through mess. Hey, there he is forever ago. Holy shit. I completely missed it. Hey, Optijack, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Happy to see you, broski. Chocobo's now level four in plants. He's eating another raw egg. Apparently, Chocobo just really likes eating raw eggs, I think is what it is, man. Oh, dude, your, your bed's done, Chocobo. So, this bed is going to... Can we... Yeah, just uninstall. And then over here, this is now L's and your ideologin forbid. Wait, what? Hold on. Chocobo, reassign. L's not allowed to sleep with her lover? <laughs> what kind of bullshit is that? Well, I mean, okay. That's fucking stupid. Oh my god. I love the ideology stuff, but at the same time, I hate it. How'd you mess up, Psycho? I did see that message. I was just, yeah. It's pronounced Leonard, you doof. It's spelled Leonard. I don't care how it's technically pronounced. <laughs> it's spelled Leonard, so it's Leonard. <laughs> yeah. Still major break risk. You're like out of food. Al, what are you doing? You're just... You're just chilling by an unlit fire outside of Mr. Noodle's house. That's not weird. That's that's perfectly fine. Whatever. Um, so do you want Lion 1 or Lion 2, Noodle, to be Leonard? Doesn't really matter to me. But my defense, Rue is a demi, so sex is not something that is done with me. Wait, yeah, but... What's that got to do with L? Did I miss a message? <laughs> I feel like I mess missed a message again. Lion 2? Okay. Lion 2. I almost clicked the slaughter button. I don't think that's the right one. So, Leo-Nard. Just like that, right? Leonard. Oh, my headphones just died. I feel like my headphones always die during this stream during uh <laughs> uh rim world okay i gotta have to plug my my headphones in which actually is a decent time anyways because the uh ad manager is yelling at me telling me that it's time to run an ad so we're gonna take a quick break i'm gonna stand up and stretch again you can never have too much stretching right um what was i saying i don't remember oh and getting a drink drinks are good too let's do that dot 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 noodle no you don't you don't like leonard <laughs> i'm just picking on you I'll, I'll change it to to what you wanted it to be uh if i could remember where that button's at it was spelled leonard though right like that anyways okay yeah we're gonna take that break we'll be back in just a moment guys Noodle can't sleep with her lover. The Kaoru is based on Ru is the god, and the god is Demi. So, oh no, it's not Noodle. It's um, Noodle. Our religion doesn't actually have a problem with that. It was L's religion, which is the Awoken Ethics. <laughs> Their religion uh, does not allow them to sleep with people that they aren't married with. I didn't mean like sexually, anyways. Uh, just like literally can't sleep in the same bed. But anyways, yeah, we are, we're, we're going to take our break, guys. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Eaten by some turtles. So we'll just progress properly through here the way that it seems like it wants you to. Also a little weird using uh, L2 and R2 for the look up and down, but... Honestly, like, I feel like we can probably get used to that. This is our first real encounter. Okay, so they dodge. Okay. Not too bad. Okay. Hey, that's not too bad. Did he drop something? Can we pick that up? Golden grass. What is that about? Will it tell us? Nope. We just, uh, it became one. We became one with it. 
All right, that's strange control stream. Anyways, gotta go. Hey, thanks for being here though. Very strange. Thanks for joining. So we got a water gem or something like that. Maybe we can use that for like uh, crafting or something later on down the road. I don't think there's like a dodge button or anything like that. So it seems like it's mostly just kind of about, you know, strike, run, strike, run sort of deal. I'm sure the patterns will be a little bit different for other people. So Hoggins Thorn. So that's what we're fighting. So Hoggins. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm probably butchering it. What kind of items have we been picking up though? What do they do? Grass from the Golden Fields recovers a small amount of HP. Okay. Recovers poisoned. So these guys may poison us. And then... Are they... Not equipment. Jeez. Going clear back to the beginning of the menu is going to get to me. Okay, so watery gems. Don't know what we can do with that, but we got some. Okay. We'll figure out more about that later, I suppose. I wish there was a... A dodge. It's going to be weird. I mean, we can go. We can strafe. And then... Okay, so it doesn't seem like you can get your sword stuck on walls or anything. Kind of like you can in, in Dark Souls. But there is a little bit of a swing time on your sword. Like, you can't just instantly go from one swing to another. Um, there's a giant mosquito. Can we can we stab it? I, uh, I want to check out whatever that plant is over there. But I'm a little worried that if we try to, we'll die. Got a feather gem. So, I mean, this game is called Eternal Ring. So, I'm assuming it'll have a lot to do with, you know... Collecting gems, adding them to rings, that sort of deal, I'm assuming. Though I could be completely wrong, of course. I'm curious with as simple as the, the combat is in this game. Ow, I'm getting hit by something. Oh, that plant. Hi, Mr. Noodle. Thank you for being here. Uh, when I first saw the plant, I was thinking it was something that I could, like, go in and collect, maybe, if I, if I gained the ability to, to swim, but no, apparently that's just not a nice thing. Hello, hello. We are back. Oh uh, my god. I feel like the RimWorld streams have just been so freaking hectic, dude. <laughs> like, ridiculously hectic. But it's fine. Everything is awesome. Uh, you've been winning the, the things, Noodle? That's good. Honestly, I didn't realize that you had been, but I'm happy for you. Seems like, uh, everybody's been having a good streak with it. And, uh, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I don't know why it's 50-50. I feel like that's a little, a little high. Because, you know, the house is always supposed to win. But there goes Nate again. <laughs> His 170,000 points of ridiculousness. Oh, God. So honestly, I feel like like there's other buildings and things that we're wanting to build. Like a prison is a, is a big one right now. Um, but like, I feel like more than anything, we just need to get our shit together. So that's kind of what this stream's all going to be focused on. We, we undid some of the more restrictive rules that we had set. Because we're just trying to get the... Noodle is starving. Um, are we out of food? We're out of food. Like, completely out of food? <laughs> oh, God. We have some energy drinks. Tom's doing Tom's doing some hunting. They're just very bad at it. Thankfully, the more he does it, the better he'll get. But, yeah. Okay, you're, you're resting again. I'm assuming you're not, like, getting any food because... Um, because we don't have any real food to feed people, I'm assuming is why, which I mean makes sense. Okay, we have, we have a donkey, which spoils in nine hours, Chocobo. You're the cook, right? So I'll, I'll memorize this one of these days. Yes. Okay. Your plant cutting is set higher. You're probably too focused on that. Um, 
Okay, everyone's plant cut is going back down by one now. But we need you to... I don't want you to pick up the donkey. I want you to prioritize butchering. Preferably of the donkey first. <laughs> before the meat goes bad. Uh, okay, look. <laughs> Thank you for, for butchering that and all. But... What do you mean cannot butcher cre creature need material? Oh, what are you... What? Uh, what? <laughs> what? Okay, we're eating raw meat now. That's awesome. Um, butcher. I don't know why L just carried it. I don't know what the hell L was doing. But it's fine. Okay, now refuel the stove. And now cook. Are you cooking? Yes. Cooking four simple meals. Thank goodness, man. It takes 40 meat to cook four simple meals. So we have eight meals worth of food. But, I mean, eight me Stop eating raw meat. Oh, my God. Now we probably don't have enough left. Cannot cook. Uh, okay. Uh, we have... We need to set up better cooking priorities. Um, so we have those simple meals, but we also need just like regular simple meals too for when we don't have enough. Details, do until X, that's fine. We want, like if we don't have enough ingredients, make sure we have at least, I don't know, 30 meals kicking around, something like that. And then wait until we get down to 15 to do more. 15, 5, 10, you know what, 20. So we have at least 5 meals per, per colonist. Not 29. Holy shit. 20. There we go. What else can we do? Can we do any, like, fun stuff here? Baked goods. I mean, I don't think we have flour or anything like that. But I guess if we do, then go ahead and make a few. Lavish bake, simple dessert, same thing. I don't think we ever have ingredients for that. But if we do, then by all means, man, make some. Sweet rolls? Uh, I mean, again, <laughs> same as the last few times. Just if we can, then by all means, do it. Uh, this is not meant to be colony bed. That's meant to be a free bed for guests. Okay, Tom's working on fixing everything. And Noodle, your thing is done. Okay, so this one is only for Noodle. Um, we need to get an actual like tailor bench. Look, for now, people are just gonna use this tailor bench. It's fine. <laughs> okay, patchwork leather is gonna be like at the bottom of the list. We need, we need fezes. Fezes are like our thing. So can we make, we can, we can make fezes. Do until there's at least three in the stockpile. Or no, two in the stockpile at all times. I don't even care of the quality or anything. Just make sure that we always have some of those in. And then the important things like pants, <laughs> t-shirts. We don't wear toques. Parkas for winter. And that's probably it for now. Yeah. Oh, and then, and then patch leather in case, like, we don't have enough other stuff. I guess maybe this will be, like, a toggle, and we'll just have to keep an eye on the, the leather stuff. Um, so we'll just suspend it. Anyways, okay. And then do until, do until, do until. Actually, honestly, just paste, paste, paste. That did not work. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Two two and two make sure we always have some clothes laying around and whoever the hell wants to use the tailoring bench they can use the tailoring bench i don't care yeah and you can use all materials for it because we're we're just desperate for stuff right now tom's really good at taking care of his peas man i feel like he's the only one that actually takes care of his plants oh we got a corn harvest that's actually huge, man. And some berries and some carrots. 
Oh my god, we got food. Winter hasn't happened yet, but it will be soon. We might live. We might, that's it. We just, we might live. <laughs> I'm amazed. I was making a backpack for someone. That's also awesome. Backpacks let you carry more things. Um, just more like bulk. I don't think they actually increase the amount of weight that you can carry, but they they let you they just let you carry more varied stuff. Oh, do you not have your own private bathroom? You should. You don't have your own tub for some reason though. Oh, that's right. We weren't giving people tubs until they had larger houses. That's why. That makes sense. Okay. Noodle, what does your day consist of? Your day consists of playing horseshoes, apparently, and that's it. The cult of Rue shall go on. Let's hope, man. Now, if only we could actually spread our religion. <laughs> I think the next time we vote a religion, we need to set the the prost prostathize. Pro I don't know. The we need to set the option where we spread our religion just kind of passively. Um, because otherwise, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. <laughs> Are you? Okay, no, you are harvesting. I didn't see the potatoes appearing behind you, and I was like, are you just are you just tearing stuff down for no reason? <laughs> like uh Okay, so so far you're Yeah, I think being the warden is taking up a little bit of time, too much time for me being the town gardener. Um, we'll leave the the wardening on because that's kind of important. But I think I think we're gonna have to lower the priority on the entertaining because uh, you really you really need to be growing stuff. Does the mayor have a tub? Or is the mayor suddenly British? <laughs> or... <laughs> Anyways, yes, the mayor has a tub. The mayor and Chocobo are currently the only two people that have private tubs. Okay, a lot of things to be harvested, which, oh my god, did we need, so that's fine. Tempting to recruit Volk. It takes so much time to recruit people. Ah, but we need to do it, though. Like, oh, we got a new person! Volk actually joined us! Volk! Oh my god, okay, who was the first person to get a new person? Nate. So, Nate, congratulations. You have just joined the game. Uh, okay, so we need to first change your name. Sadly, you're not part of our religion. That sucks, but still. So this is Nate. Is, is my L he broke? No, there it goes. Nate Alistair. Congrats. Okay, so we need to get you a house, too. I was hoping... I guess what we could do, I mean, they can still share a house. Look, this is going to look dumb, but <laughs> this is going to be Elle's house. And then Elle's current house, which is, yeah, this one, is going to become Nate's. And Nate also, one, two, three, four, five times wants to grow their plot of land. So this is now Nate's land. Clear, uh, stay home L. And instead, stay home Nate, okay. I think I was on the wrong one. Stay home Nate, there we go. Okay, we can't really make you bigger the other way, but like, Yes. Like that seems pretty reasonable. <laughs> so, 31. How much Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um small problem. I don't know if there's enough space to grow your house that much. Mm. Mm. Uh Dorseman <laughs> before before you before you ask for your land to be grown too much, you might want to get a pawn, man. 
you don't have a character to grow the land of, <laughs> my guy. I'll leave the request in there, but you might want to redeem that other thing first. Just, just trying to help you out, bud. You do you, but that's 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 my suggestion to you. Um, okay. So then you can also have a bit of land here. We have to leave some space for walking, though. So, like, how big does that make that? 16? Mm, gross. Even numbers. Okay, we'll leave a little bit of space there. And then... Like that? How's that compared to Noodles? Because Noodle, I think, has had five or six... Something like that. Oh, grow Nate's land. <laughs> I Why? Why are you trying to make Nate have the, the largest land in the world? I mean, I guess. Temperature. It's 58 degrees. It's fine. Sure. Come on in. There you go, Nate. You now have the world's biggest land. Um, L, congratulations. This is now your abode. Um, and this is now Nate's abode. Along with this. Details. Nate. And then this is rename Nate's personal meals. There we go. Oh, I guess we need to, uh, well, also we need to just name this, or not name this, but assign this. That's you there. And then we need to, last thing, zone, expand, stay home, L. Uh, I don't remember the exact bounds of this, but that looks good enough. Hey, they gave us some gold, just straight up gold. Thanks, man. A-L-I-S-T is what we named you last time. Okay. We need a A-L-I-S-T. We need to make sure to actually give you the same name. Because otherwise, things won't work. A-L-A-L-I-S-T. Okay. There we go. You were jumping on the bandwagon. Alright. Uh, Man, we need to figure out how to like lay out your land. I think you're going to get like a complete remodel, man. So since you have all this land up here too, we're gonna delete these growing zones. And then we're gonna plant your food up in this corner, I guess. You're gonna you're gonna share your food with the Oh man, that's where we were supposed to be growing the inn. <laughs> God damn it, Nate. <laughs> Endorsement. I guess it's partially Dorsman's fault too, honestly. Um it's fine. Okay, growing zone. Maybe, how big is this, 11? So if we do five by five, we could do another five by five, yeah, like that. And then how big was it? It went like all the way back to here, didn't it? Something like that. And then, can we, no, we can't. We'll just deconstruct. Um, deconstruct. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna deconstruct all this stuff, cause you're gonna have to like. <laughs> you'll be the end owner. Dream come true. I mean, that's true. You did you did want that. What what are you good at? You're good at shooting, so that's decent hunter. Um. Okay, you are actually good with people, so that's pretty good. What's your cooking? You have literally zero cooking skill. So I mean like <laughs> That's a bit of a problem. Okay, we want firefight one, patient one, bed rest two. Let's go ahead and set up all the, the normal stuff real quick. Um okay, just turn all this crap off for now. You're pretty decent crafter and whatnot too, though. You might end up being our crafter, at least for now. And then you can be the main person to do the entertaining. So like you're gonna you're gonna work in the end, but mostly as like 
you know, the face of the end. Not necessarily the actual cook, but you'll, you'll talk to people and stuff. Crafting? I like crafts. I mean, you have it enabled, but you suck at it in the game, so... <laughs> and then tailoring and smithing. You're also pretty decent at managing, so you'll share that duty with Noodle. Um, you're managing, quote-unquote, the inn. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. Then everybody can fish sometimes. Oh, you don't haul or anything. That's kind of annoying, but it's not the end of the world either. Uh, you can help with the hunting, maybe. Sure. Maybe like that, then? You can help with the wardening as well. Yeah, that looks that looks decent. I bad at crafts, no more crafts. In the game, you weirdo. <laughs> Alright, let's follow let's follow you around for a little bit. What does your day consist of? Okay, you're wardening right now. That makes that makes sense. And then you're eating. That's that's fine too. Oh, look at all this food. All this food is amazing. Hopefully with you helping out with the the entertaining of the guests and things. Hopefully that means you'll also uh, free up some time for the for the mayor to grow things. <laughs> You're also making some some clothing for our people, which is nice. I appreciate that. Oh, we need to set the actual stuff that you're going to be growing. Do you have any preferences, Nate? It looks like you're growing two fields of potatoes. It's too late for that. <laughs> They're already there. I'm not changing them. <laughs> no, we'll change them if you want to. One field's going to save potatoes, though. But there's a whole lot of different options here, Nate. Do you have any preferences? I think one of them's going to be wheat, just because I don't think we're growing any wheat right now. Um, And then this one's going to be potatoes, because that one's already there. But you still have one, two, three, four more that you can choose whatever you want if you have any preferences. Um, how about some pineapples? Do you like pineapples? I don't know, but they're about to go in there. I'm going to keep slowly picking things. <laughs> Unless you pick things. The options are all here. I don't think anyone's growing allspice. Allspice, okay. And then... So that's potatoes. Potatoes would definitely be a go-to. Weed also sounds good. Tomatoes, if they're an option. Tomatoes are an option. We're growing some already, but that's fine. Do you like peppers? Because I don't think anyone's growing peppers. So we're going to do peppers for the last one. So you got... You got wheat, pineapples... Potatoes, allspice, tomatoes, and peppers. <laughs> Noodle's probably pissed right now. <laughs> She's like, I just planted these damn crops. <laughs> uh, okay. You're making a fez. We're finally getting fezes for our people. Oh my god. Look at that. And we have a shirt. There's a shirt now. This is, this is beautiful. It's amazing. We need to get you your own crafting space. Since you're like the, the town craftsman, I guess. And Lord knows your, your space is more than big enough for it. <laughs> I'm thinking, I don't know how it's actually gonna look. Rewarded war? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Uh, I don't know how it's actually going to look, but since it's long and skinny, I'm thinking of doing, like, one long hallway. That way it's still indoors, and then just a bunch of rooms on the side. Let me know how you feel about that, because it's very... I want, I want you know, you guys to have some input on your things. Oh, this is also meant to be a guest bed, but it's meant to cost money. How much does this one cost? 50 
Attractiveness, 54. I don't know how, like, the attractiveness plays into things. 113. So maybe we should shoot for an attractiveness. I mean, as we add stuff, this will change. But maybe we should shoot for an attractiveness of, like, 100-ish. Let's go ahead and try flooring one of these rooms and seeing how that changes the attractiveness. Just with just with simple wood, maybe. Yeah, no one has enough skill to do that, so. Just a simple wooden floor. I feel like we should also go ahead and do our dining hall. And the hallway going into the rooms, at least. You know, we want, we want our inn to look somewhat nice, at the very least. Gonna keep following Nate around because he's the new guy. You're entertaining the guests. Excellent. I like to see it. It's, takes up time from doing possibly more important crafting work, but cutting down trees though is is real nice. Do do that. <laughs> I mean, you're still, you know, the quote-unquote innkeep. You just, your inn is the entire map. <laughs> so you entertain people everywhere. Oh my god, we have 30 meals, guys. 31 meals. This is beautiful. We're not all going to die. <laughs> Can almost make a spicy pizza. This is true. Almost. Hunter lacks weapon. Uh, so that must be, yeah, that must be Nate. So what weapons do we have available? If you're a hunter, a ranged weapon would be best. There's an ex... Okay, do you want a handgun or an excellent bow? Like a normal handgun or an excellent bow, Nate? What would you prefer? Either or is fine with me. Is our stockpile over here full? No, oh, no, we don't have any, like, fresh food storage. Um... Oh, no, we allow plants over here. Oh, but those are like actual plants, not ingredients. Raw resources? Plant matter. There we go. So, although it kind of looks dumb to have it mixed, I feel like, we're going to go ahead and allow plant matter to be stored over here. Um, we'll just copy. Copy. Paste. That's probably, probably it. The excellent bow. Okay, finish whatever you're doing and then equip the excellent compound bow. Now, if you go hunting, you don't have to just like chase things down and wrangle them with your hands or something like that, <laughs> which you're already doing. You're hunting a raccoon of all things, but I mean, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> hey, meat is meat. The rest is just semantics. Hey, Noodle. Are you here and or can hear? <laughs> Wait, why were you hunting? Are we out of leather crafting supplies already? Because your priorities should be set so you craft before hunting, right? Yeah. Must be out of, out of stuff to do that. Um, which actually does kind of remind me. Yeah, this is our crafting stuff. Okay, so most of it's actually done. But we're going to want to go ahead and put a couple more things in here. Like, if we have stuff to make cigarettes, we'll do that. Um, same with smoke leaf joints. There's no reason, like, not to. We're going to want at least simple weapons all the time. So we'll do short bows. We already have backpacks in there. Uh, fire bombs. I think that's a little above what we can do right now. Wooden armor? I mean, hey, some armor is better than no armor, right? Completely useless against rifle shots. Never mind. We're not going to bother ourselves with that. Okay. This one goes to the bottom. Uh, I guess if we have tobacco, just, just make the stuff. Do until we have one sitting around. Oh, we already have a short bow one in there. I'm a dumbass. Turns out previous me already thought of that. 
Look at that. We now have our drug production going. We're growing. We're growing weed. I mean, we are, but <laughs> we're also making joints, making the weed usable now. Nate and his masterful rolling skills, getting it going. God, it takes a long time to roll some joints, don't it? We're going on super speed right now, y'all. <laughs> also, apparently it's getting pretty cold outside, which means we need to grab all of these and turn on automatic refueling so we get some heat. And then we also need to build a copy of one and make sure we have some heat source inside the end here um they're probably ugly but also get a heat source inside the nice rooms at least maybe oh my god do i want one inside all the rooms do we have vent tech yet hey noodle thank you so much for the five bits love i appreciate you we do okay it's 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 a little like, I don't know, not quite right, I feel like, <laughs> you know, with the whole thing that we got going on, but we're going to build some vents. To, to share some heat around. Uh, I think for these guys, it'll be fine if it's just in their bedrooms, but... Yeah, we can probably turn off the automatic refueling of the cooler that we have, though. I don't think we need that. We got a riot shield? No. I accidentally turned on the, <laughs> the freaking beauty thing. I don't want the beauty thing showing up. Colonist bar, yes. Visibility of zones, yes. Where I'm so blind. Hello? I don't, I don't want the beauty pop up. How do I get rid of the beauty pop up? I know it's over here somewhere. I'm just not seeing it. Is it this one? No. Show HUD. Automatic rebuild. Expand home area. That's all turned off. Uh, there we go. Okay. T. It's a hot key. Okay. I just hit T and turned it off. Hi, Noodle. Oh, uh, yeah. I was wondering if you could uh, possibly, if you wouldn't mind, uh, refill my water for me when you get a moment. No rush or anything, just whenever you get a moment. I'm not, like, dying of thirst right at the moment. All right, Tom's getting this built. So is the attractiveness? It is going up. Okay. So yeah, I guess we're going to shoot for, like, an attractiveness score of about 100. And that's how we'll base our costs. We'll always keep some free stuff around just for, like, the really poor people. That might come into the, to the colony to hang out for a bit or whatever, but... Got our colony slowly but surely coming together. Eighty-four degrees. As the vents get built, it'll probably get a little bit cooler in here, but attractiveness of sixty-nine. What a nice number, dude. I'm here for it. Let's see what Mr. Noodle's up to today. Chopping trees? It's a good job for a mayor, right? Just chopping down, deforesting the, the land. <laughs> Why not, right? Oh, I don't want that many, just one, please. Your data usage is currently 6.66. Perfect, perfect. Is this, it's rice. I thought these were corn plants, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I kind of want someone to fish. 
we have Tom set as a medium priority to fish. Let's put it at a number one priority for now, Tom. I know like you're our constructor, but I just want to see someone fish, dude. I feel like no one ever fishes, even though we do have that turned on. Oh shit, this Ambrosia is like right outside your house. Um, harvest? Sure. What are you doing, Nate? Oh, you're still making, <laughs> you're still making drugs. Got it. <laughs> What's that listed under? That's, uh, what, energy drinks? Uh, is it under medicine? No. There, oh, it's under, it's under drugs. That makes sense. So we currently have eight joints. I'm assuming that means that Chocobo is probably a little bit inebriated. Surprisingly, no. <laughs> Love how him and his lover are just sleeping in two separate beds. Um, here's what we're going to do. Even though they get more comfort from like double beds, right? They're they're more attractive or whatever. We're going to build just two single beds side by side. Oh good, it's snowing. This is where everything really started going to shit last time. <laughs> it's whenever it started snowing. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I mean, I think we're set up a little bit better this time. We at least have some heat sources, which is where, you know, things really got messed up last time. Uh, so, like, I'll, t I'll take what I can get. Thank you, Noodle. Do you mind, while you're here... Don't huff at me, young lady. <laughs> I was gonna ask you to take down my cup. There's some water in that, so... Thank you. Love you. Nate, why are you taking a nap in the middle of the day? You're supposed to be working. It's not siesta time, Noodle. It's it's work time. Love you. <laughs> Need warm clothes. So, like, we do have that set as a job, but I'm assuming we're out of materials for it. We need leather or wool. Or cloth. Which we have some of. But it requires 80. Oh. Okay, you know what that means? We need more cotton. And since we're growing so much food now, I think what we can do is probably take this potato, no, this rice field and turn it into more cotton. Now, obviously, that's not going to work out so well here in the, uh, in the winter, but whenever things get a little bit warmer, maybe we'll, uh... <laughs> be able to do something with that canola camaru coffee can't really do anything with most of that at the moment tinctoria tea grass i'd love to be able to make some tea but we don't have we don't have the tech we don't know how to make tea yet i don't think ruse got to head to bed sleep is calling my name and you can't resist i know the feeling man i've been there now take it easy though Rue. thank you for coming and hanging out with us for a little bit have a good night dude Uh, double bed is no longer assigned to Chocobo. That's fine. Because what we're going to do, Chocobo, is build a copy right here. And then this one we're going to reinstall right there. And then you guys will be able to sleep next to each other. Although, not really. <laughs> like, you'll be able to sleep next to each other, but not together. That's all. Uh, set owner. This one was L. There you go. Chocobo looks like they made their own. Yeah. Um, and this bathroom, I guess, can't be private because there's two people here. So... <laughs> yep. You guys don't get the, the private bathroom anymore. If we could share a double bed, that would be fine. Then it would be a private bathroom for the both of them. But we can't. So this is now technically a public toilet. It's fine. <laughs> Why not? Uh, Nate, bud, you don't have any... <laughs> Look, are you trying to die of hypothermia again, Nate? Because you're standing outside making smoke leaf joints and you have no wood inside your fire. I'm just saying that seems like a terrible idea. <laughs> Get some damn wood in your fire, man. 
<laughs> oh. How you doing at least? Are you... Oh no, you're not even technically cold yet. Are you wearing... You're grimy and chilly. Uh... Okay, so you don't have... You don't have warm clothes, but you have clothes. Um, yeah, Nate, refuel. Oh, you won't haul. That's why. Okay, let's grab, I think L's our hauler. Refuel that one and then do whatever you were gonna do. And then prioritize hauling that to whatever. There we go. So Nate, Nate can be warm inside their own home now. Uh, even though we haven't rebuilt your house yet, because I'm not sure the layout we want to do, at the very least, you do deserve a tub. Um, because you do have a giant, a giant home out of wood. They're all made out of wood. There you go. Get your own tub. Your own tub of water. And then I guess we probably need to set your priorities too. I, I doubt we did that when we did everything else we probably forgot honestly uh no that's not stay at home this is do anything then you can go home for a couple hours at the end of the night though there we go got some caravan animals wandering around a group of indian elephants ah i guess elephants are also packing oh this elephant has asthma dude the poor thing gotta be rough being a big old pack animal and shit and having asthma i'm sorry hope that gets better for you large bunch of cassava has sprouted where is that this no it brought me over here so it must be over here somewhere cassava doesn't grow in the winter right Cassava grows best in tropical, warm, and humid. Yeah. No, it's not cold weather. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, I don't think we have anything that grows in the winter. As far as I'm aware, that's not really a thing. Peanuts. Okra, mint, uh, moss, cabbage. Yeah, I don't, I don't think anything grows in the winter. I, I, <laughs> I don't... Hey, you won another 20,000. What, what's all the dots for? You won. <laughs> Why are you upset about that? Simple meat has rotted away in storage. Yeah, that'll happen sometimes. Uh, that's the research that we're working on very slowly, but surely. <laughs> we are working on getting the ability to dry meat, which speaking of, now that we have an extra person, it may be a decent time to look at getting someone to research. Uh... So noodle, after you grow and plant cut, do researching at a higher priority than anything else. You're still gonna have to grow and plant cut for now because you're our only good grower. But we need we need some research to get done. The mayor needs to do the mayoral duties. Granted, we ever finish plant cutting. <laughs> Which is a big ask, honestly, but, you know. I mean, it's important stuff that we're harvesting, though. You know, it's like heel root, apples, wood. <laughs> like, stuff we kind of have to have. Yes. Yeah, it's your cookie, Noodle. You can have you can have that cookie. I bought a cookie for lunch, and I, I don't eat that much sugar in general. So I almost always end up having extra. Our stockpile actually looks pretty decent. Hey, we got some fish, too. We got some fish. We got some meals. Some smoke leaf. We don't have a ton of meals, but we do have some. There's choke leaves. Choke leaves. <laughs> Chocobos. <laughs> smoke leaf going on. All right, Tom. I think... Oh, you, you're also high, huh? We have some fish in here. So I think... It's time to take your fishing priority back down. At least we know the fishing's working. But I think you're spending a bit too much time fishing. Which, I mean, I expect it to happen, honestly. 
You have a level three plant cut, so we're gonna put fish on level three. Um, and since we have a dedicated crafter now, actually, that can be crafting can put be put down to a three for you as well. So Al, you're pretty much gonna be a full time hauler and cleaner. You're just the basic bitch, I guess. <laughs> that's that's your life. Oh no, 15 of our simple meals rotted away. That's actually really bad, but there's not much we can do about that. Um, yeah, sadly. It sucks, but what you gonna do? Storage. Priority preferred. What's this one? Just normal, right? Yeah, okay. Look at all the food. People have some food in their homes. Uh, passive coolers turned off. That's that's good, honestly. Why is Chocobo not just like collecting ingredients from there? I don't know. Anyways, some monstrosities appeared. What are you, a muffalo woman? <laughs> what? What kind of monstrosity? <laughs> okay, well, let's get everyone drafted. Uh, I don't know where they're gonna come to, so just line up over here. How fast does the Muffalo woman... Wait, what are you? Are you a monstrosity too? Yeah, you're a Squirrelope. We've seen the Squirrelope before, but we've never seen a Muffalo woman, which apparently is something that is possible to tame. Good job. You shot the duck. Why, why'd you shoot the, the goose? Uh, I guess that goose is gonna be hunted now. Okay, so you're dead. Perfect. Uh, now we just gotta worry about the Muffalo Woman. I don't know how bad these things are to take down. Who are you going after? Should we kite someone? There we go, there we go. Awesome, dude, not even a problem. All right, everyone, you can go back to their normal stuff now. Uh, Is this home zoned? It's not. Home zone it so that we put out the fire and then reset everyone's priorities. Put the fire out before it burns all the crap we spent all that time harvesting. <laughs> we spent a bunch of time harvesting the heal root and shit, goddammit. I don't want it to go to waste. <laughs> All right, now you should be, when you're not washing yourself and whatnot, you should be basically spending all of your time, okay, apparently you're relaxing, you're smoking weed inside the doctor's office to relax. Perfect. <laughs> Refueling campfires, that's important. That's fine. Especially right now, that's important. With it being winter and everything. Especially Nate's because for some reason he won't do it himself. He's uh, he's too good for that. Excellent. Okay. Real quick. 68, 61. Okay. So the the wooden floors helped, but not, not actually a ton. God, refueling the campfires takes forever, doesn't it? And the wash tubs and whatnot, too. I didn't even think of that. And we're getting raided again. Well, that was back to back. Which direction's the raid coming from? That way. Oh, God. Okay, it's actually multiple people. And they have real weapons. This is where people start dying. <laughs> this is actually kind of bad. Uh... Wow. Shit, dude. Okay. I mean, we're going to do what we can to protect ourselves, but this is this is actually kind of scary. Um I don't know which way they're going to come, so just hide over here in the trees maybe. And hope they come this way. No, they're coming from up here. Hide in these trees. Something like that. 
Sir Noodle, you have... Yeah, you have the sniper rifle, so we actually want you, like, back a little bit further. And I think Chocobo has the shotgun, so we probably want you, like, in the front line. Yeah. Something like this looks okay. L, you have... Is that a shotgun as well? Let's so get you up here. It looks like they just have revolvers besides this guy. Oh god, Nate. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Okay, L and Chocobo are both out of range. Oh, we already took one down. Excellent, okay. L, move up to here. Try not to get shot in- Oh. Noodle! <laughs> Did Noodle shoot Tom? You got your left eye shot out. Shot out. Noodle, who trusted you with a gun? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. All right, Chocobo. Um, run up carefully. And L, you run up that way. We got to get those shotguns. Those shotguns are huge for for damage output. Look at that, dude. Shotguns are where it's at. I am a tree. <laughs> okay, they're running away. Good. How bad off are we? So you got a chocobo. You got shot in the kidney. Um, but you're going to be okay. Unless you get an infection or something. Tom straight up got their eye shot, shot out by Mr. Noodle. Oh, well, I mean, hey, accidents happen. It's fine. <laughs> Go get yourselves taken care of. Uh, Nate, you are fine. So, capture that person. I th that's the only person that went down that didn't die, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. And then enable all the weapons. Rolling block rifle? What is that? Ornate high power marksman rifle. Designed for dispatching muffalo in a single shot. Okay, so that's better than probably the regular rifle nate are you still around or awake i don't know if you are if you are say something in chat because <laughs> i'm curious whether you would rather have the 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 muffalo killing rifle or the bow that you currently have i'm tempted to give you the muffalo killing rifle okay you haven't been treated yet and it's because you're being told to go home right now? Just yes? <laughs> okay. Uh, so who's hurt? Chocobo and Tom. You guys don't have to go home. You guys have to rest until you're healed. Is what you have to do. And Mr. Noodle? Um, no, L. Uh, well... Shit, I don't even know which one's more important to take care of at first. Just fucking take care of people before they die, please. Yes to the rifle, okay. So after you're done prioritizing, or after you're done with Chocobo, take care of Tom. And Nate, when you're done sleeping, you get the Muffalo Killing Rifle. There we go. We just have to remember to make sure that you actually do equip that. Kidney shot, shot, sleep it off, be cold, die. <laughs> we have a fire in your, in, well, okay, the fire in your house apparently went out, but <laughs> we have a fire in your hospital room at least. Tending to Rutana. Oh, that's right. We got a prisoner. How are you? Uh, phew. it's a good thing you started getting treatment. You were about to die. Are you, you're still tending. Good. Um, hopefully they get back in time. What are you like? You're a rebel. That's fine. You can't not do anything. That's excellent. You're not super hard to recruit. So we're going to try and recruit you. You got some free clothes. I like that. Just, just shirts. I mean, it's a Synthread shirt, so it's a nice one, but it's still just a shirt. If 
we have storage. Uh, okay, that's just some stuff change. That's not that big of a deal. Um, can we put medicine in here? No. I think we were waiting for this one. Yeah, that's the actual medicine cabinet. So, Tom, how you doing, bud? You've been treated, right? Yeah, you're fine. Built this medicine cabinet. <laughs> Thanks, man. I mean, you should probably go back to bed, but it's fine. Whatever. And then no drugs. Nutramine can go here, though. And then over here, we'll just have all the miscellaneous drugs and stuff, which it looks like we already do. Excellent. That went surprisingly well. I mean, we have decent weapons, so I guess I shouldn't be that surprised, but like... At the same time, I kind of expected someone to die. <laughs> Nate, did you equip your new rifle? You did. Excellent. How you doing, Tom? You're fine. What was Tom's job? Wasn't he the hunter or something? He is. <laughs> He's the hunter and constructor. He now has one less eye to hunt with, but I'm sure that'll be fine. <laughs> you don't need your eyes to, to hunt, right? It is fine. Uh, Chocobo, you're also going to be fine as long as you don't get... Yeah, our visitors weren't too happy with us. That's fine, I guess. They left a gift. A luxuriant hybrid wool bandana. Thanks, man. Appreciate the bandana. Oh, Lord. Okay. The food situation very quickly deteriorated. I just realized, literally just now, that we are out of food again. We have three raw rice, apparently. And that's it. Now, it doesn't count the food on shelves, so we probably have a bit more than that. But still... We have some peas over here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you have severe illness? Oh, no, you're fine. That must have been an old message or something. Yeah, you're fine. Everything's been treated. You don't have an infection. You're going to be okay. Other commands. Yeah, I mean, if you're wondering what you can do with your points, honestly, it's not a whole lot. It's basically just gambling, dueling, and <laughs> that's about it. The, the options for points that are built into Streamlabs aren't amazing, but oh well. Hence why one of these days I'm going to work on making my own bot whenever I have time and motivation to do so. So that we can add some more fun things. Tom fishing is actually really handy right now. So, Tom, fish away. Why are you cooking on the fire? I guess you didn't have enough to make a big meal, so. Am I getting a shower tonight? I didn't plan on it, but I can. Things are going unharvested, which means, Mr. Noodle, what are you doing? You're cloud watching. We have food <laughs> that needs harvested and isn't being harvested. And you're just cloud watching. <laughs> oh, God. Hi. <laughs> oh. I'm guessing you just wanted to see what the lurk command did. The clouds are pretty. I mean, that's fair, but like... The colony is starving to death. <laughs> Collect the food before you cloud watch, please. <laughs> Pretty please. Oh, God. I feel like people spend a little bit too much time using the bathroom. 
So just real quick, one thing we are going to do is go to options, mod settings. Uh, it's better hygiene. I don't know what it's saved as. Dubs, but oh, not better hygiene. Dubs by hygiene. Okay, so we're going to turn down the needs rate a little bit so that people don't have to use it. Oh, wait, no, flush size is fine. So that people don't have to use it as much. 50, 50. Oh, what are you, sewage limit per cell, sewage cleanup, sewage tree. Okay, that's all fine. We're going to leave everything else the same. Extra features. Okay. People are still going to have to wash themselves and things, but but hopefully not as often. So that they can get a little bit more work done. Oh, there's the cassava. Oh, it's actually like somewhat grown. And it's technically growing. It's freezing outside, literally, but it is technically growing just very slowly. <laughs> so, I mean, can we like... we harvest it it is like 60 some percent grown i guess we'll leave it for now but if we have like a, a big cold snap we'll uh we'll maybe look at harvesting it earlier so oh my god mr noodle is researching i mean there's no real planting to do right now so that's understandable we do still need to get the we need another sleep spot um the meat situation, the, the meat drying situation handled. Animal sleep spot. Um, I don't know, Nate, you can have, you can have the, the other lion. Lion two. If you want a name for the lion, or lion one, whatever its name is. If you want a name for it, let me know, bud. Okay, we're probably waiting on stuff for the rest of this. Wait. Oh. You know what? We might have the mod option with quality builder where only the best builder finishes stuff. Which is... Override best builder with none. Um, I think Tom's our builder. Right? Construction, Tom, yeah. So Tom can hopefully actually finish this stuff now. I think maybe that's why that furniture wasn't being built. I'm not positive, but I think that might have been it. Because Tom was fishing, which again, actually very useful right now. But at the same time, finish up the damn building, dude. And you're playing horseshoes. I mean, look, what are you going to do? Destruction skill too low, too low. Your construction skill's too low to build chairs really anyways uh what i was gonna say if our wood situation is pretty decent which i think it is i'm blind hello yeah 790 we're gonna go ahead and floor the rest of the colony all the all the stuff we haven't floored yet that room there all these rooms are floored that floor the mayor's office will finally have a floor <laughs> uh, I'm not actually worried about flooring this room the storage thing like is the lion male or female excellent question I believe lion one was a male I'm going off the main here <laughs> yes male lion There's something growing. It's a bush. There's a bush in your stockpile. I mean, that's fine. Noodle. Give away our herbal meds and see if they do anything for us in return. I don't see anything about them giving us something in return, but we help some people out at least. I can feel good about that. Okay, go back to bed. Can I tell Noodle to go back to bed? No, I guess not. I can't force you to sleep. Tony the Tiger? I don't know if that'll fit, but we'll try. What's it under? Training. 
Tony the tiger. It does. Okay. <laughs> I mean, a bit weird for a lion, but it's fine. It's <laughs> it totally makes sense. Why not? You're hauling stuff from every... Oh, that dude that was running away from us. They died on the way out of the colony. That'll teach you to fuck with us. Tom's building some floors. I'm hoping that'll help get his construction up. Noodle's getting high. That makes sense. It's been a stressful time for Noodle. I can't really blame her. Him. Can't really blame him. Yes, I know we're low on food. And it's only the 4th of December. <laughs> Speaking of, we were supposed to be watching the temperature. It's currently 15 degrees. Is our cassava still alive? Yes, it's not growing at all, but it's still alive. I think we're just going to have to... We're just going to have to harvest it before it goes bad. I don't want it to, to like, go bad, bad, and then we'll be screwed. Um, okay, before our... You're cooking. What are you cooking with? God, you are going everywhere to collect ingredients, though, aren't you? Oh, just berries. A bunch of berries is all you're using. I mean, that's fine. We now have one or no, three meals made entirely of berries. Okay. Uh, What kind of animals do we have on the map? Oh. Ad break. I wasn't paying attention. Thankfully, it did just start. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick break, guys, which is fine. I'm really feeling the need to stretch my legs out anyways. We'll be back in just a few minutes to try and find some animals to murder, I guess. <laughs> BRB. I kill it. I want to go in the water and see if I can fight it, but I'm scared to die. <laughs> uh, I mean, hey, what's the worst that could happen, right? I mean, I guess the worst is we could die. I definitely can't reach. Maybe from over here. Okay, no. Water instantly kills us no matter what. Okay, okay. Well, unless, like, later on maybe we can get a ring or something that'll let us. But now we know. Now we know. For sure. It's a lesson we had to learn twice. Hopefully we won't have to learn it a third time. <laughs> oh... I'm liking the looks of it so far. Yeah, I mean, other than the control scheme being really weird, it actually seems pretty, pretty decent. Um, I mean, the combat, you know, is pretty simplistic, but given that it was a PS2 game, I understand. I like dungeon crawlers like this and, uh, and action RPGs, so it's ticking most of the boxes of games that I would enjoy. It just has a really odd control scheme. Like, you use L2, R2 to look up and down. Triangle is your basic attack button. There's no sort of analog controls at all. So just, just very odd. But, oh, and then, like, I'm also curious, like, how the, you know, the bosses and things are going to work, because combat does seem fairly simplistic. It's not like, you know, comparing this to like Legend of Zelda or something though, like the the combat in that game was so much better, right? You had the ability to to dodge and roll all different directions, you could lock on to enemies. That's kind of what I feel like this game is missing. It reminds me a little bit of I haven't played them a whole lot or anything, so I'm no expert by any means, but it reminds me a little bit of old um oh, what are they called? Shimagami Shin Megami Tensei and uh, Persona games, right? The old, specifically Shin Megami Tensei and Persona, like t one through three or something like that. They were were first person dungeon crawler sort of games, and uh, that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting here. Oh, cool! We got a leaf gem this time instead of a water gem or whatever. Kind of want to kill the mosquito, but I'm scared I'm gonna wake up that plant again. Plus the mosquito. Okay, no, it came over. Another feather gem. Let's uh, let's hug the right wall for now. Just kind of keep working our way wherever this wants to take us. Hello, hello, hello. We are back. 
had a nice stretch. My feet hurt. <laughs> I don't know why, but like my right foot has just been killing me lately every time I step on it, but only when I don't stand on it for a little while. I don't know if I like I pulled something or what, but I just noticed like whenever I got up to stretch and whatnot for break, that like the heel of my foot hurts. Anyways, we need to get some meat because we are hungry. It is winter. There's not much to go around. I don't have mufflos marked to, to automatically hunt because they can get mad and attack us. But we have pretty decent weapons now. We have some simple medicine and things. So I think we're gonna go ahead and mark those to hunt and start marking them to automatically be hunt. Um, I don't think the horses give enough meat to, to, to really hunt them for it to be worth it. Uh, the geese and gander, they, they, they are stuff, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, guinea pigs have a chance of attacking? <laughs> really? Uh, when taming. So if you get too close to them. Uh, I mean, that makes sense. Guinea pigs are pretty vicious things. The platypus? I don't know how much meat you get from a platypus, but sure, hunt that. Hunt the hares, hunt the rat, hunt the squirrels. Get to, get to hunting. I think Tom's our hunter. So let's uh, let's watch Tom do his stuff, man. Low food, starvation. Noodle is literally starving. Don't we, we have some berries. Eat some, some berries. It's not the most filling of foods, but it's something. Uh, okay, we just had raw fish and stuff disappear. Oh no, it was just being moved. Okay. I was a little worried for a second. I thought somebody was eating raw fish. Leonard just gave birth. Guys, we just got a baby lion. Aw. Does anybody have a preferred name for the baby lion? It's going to go in Chocobo and L's room. So Chocobo, if you have a pick, you get you get first go at it. If not, that's fine. Uh, animal sleeping spot. It's going, I don't know, in this corner of your room. It'll be lion cub one for now. Leah? Leah's nice. Said so Chocobo gets first pick, but if they don't answer soon, then, then we'll change it to Leah. Uh, oh, Tom, we were going to watch and see if you actually did any hunting. No, you're talking to Fugly. <laughs> but I'm not being mean. That's just the person's name, okay? <laughs> I'm sure they're a beautiful person, but their name's literally Fugly. So what do you want from me? Or no, Tom... Is Tom our builder and hunt? You are. God, Tom. You're kind of a jack of all trades, aren't you? What are you hunting? Are you... Oh, God. You're hunting, like, the rat or oh, the squirrel. <laughs> I mean, look. It's meat, man. Okay? We just need meat. We just need food. Plants are dying because it's way too cold. Which means what we should do is just put a generalized harvest on everything. There's probably nothing that can be harvested right now. now. There's a few things. But if it can be done, do it. Preferably before it dies, but... I don't know if we're going to get that lucky or not. We'll see. Uh, let's go back to Tom. I want to watch Tom hunt. Best skinny crockpot chicken and gravy? Noodle just sent me a recipe. <laughs> we're just, we're like hanging on by the, the skin of our teeth here. Like, hardly having enough food to survive, but we're trying. Tom's not the best hunter in the world, but he's he's doing what he can, damn it. <laughs> It looks good, the, the recipe you sent me. I have to check it out later. You're actually going to get your shower now? Yeah, we'll see about that. All right. Uh, animals. Lion cub. Your name is now going to be Leah. I think it's under training. Yeah, which... We can't train you to haul yet. But we do want to train you for hauling whenever we can. Glitter world medicine. That's actually really nice. Glitter World Medicine, you can, like, do some amazing stuff with. You can, uh, like, completely cure diseases and things. Like, even diseases that you wouldn't expect. Um, Glitter World's just, just powerful stuff. 
Somebody else hunting? Nate is getting some hunting in. He also got a muffalo. Awesome. Which reminds me, like I said, our stuff's pretty decent. So, not livestock. Although we do need to put one in since lions are technically livestock. I mean, look, they may not be like... Count all on that. Oh, no, we don't want a new job. We want to edit this one. They may not be like your traditional... <laughs> Uh, livestock animal, but they are technically livestock. Anyways, muffalo. There's a small chance they'll attack, but they give so much meat. Okay, platypus gives like nothing. Yeah, they're not worth it. Same with rats and stuff under normal circumstances. What about the wild goose? 25% chance for 45 meat. Yeah, never mind. That's going to be a no-go for me. Air, 31 meat. Same with the guinea pigs, actually. Giant spiders. Yes, let's, <laughs> let's start hunting giant spiders, guys. Blind salamanders. Uh, bison, yeah. Hunt those along with the, the buffalo. Ancient giant spider. Oh boy. <laughs> that sounds like a bad time, man. Excuse me. Your rifle is literally meant to kill buffalo in one shot. So I'd appreciate it if you killed the buffalo, Nate. That looked like a good hit. That was a body shot. Times two? Ah, uh, this rifle lied to us, man. I mean, I'm surprised the ear shot didn't kill it. Solar Flare doesn't do anything to us because we don't have electricity. Okay, Chocobo, you should be hopefully making food now. Which, yes, you are. That's literally what you're doing. You're collecting apples and stuff to cook food. Excellent. Our research should have made a little bit of progress. Yeah, a tiny bit. Only a tiny bit. We really do need, like, a full-time researcher. So our best researcher is Nate, actually. Oh, Nate, Noodle, and... Oh, no. Chocobo sucks at it. They just like it. Nate's tied with Noodle for it, though. You're our artist and tailor and stuff. Well, when you don't have that to do, and you're not hunting, research. Yeah. Entertain, take care of the crafting, hunt if it's flagged to be hunted. Hopefully Tom will take care of it before you, but you know. And then and then hunt. That seems or I'm sorry, and then research. That seems fair. We can do that. Speed up time a little bit. It's just night, it's not like anything's going on. We have some ritual opportunities. What's going on? What do we got? Uh, we really don't want to do the authoritarian stuff. Um, public execution? No. Jubilee of the Rubilee? Oh my god. Expected quality 26%. Because we don't have enough people in our religion. <laughs> to, to, to make it worth it, man. Okay, Mr. Noodle, though. I think we can set your role now. As mayor. Yes, because we, we should have fezes. I think we have some fezes. You might even... No, you're wearing... What are you wearing? A dog leather bowler hat. Well, I mean, something. <laughs> and then the only other person here... That's actually part of a religion. It's Chocobo. So do we want Chocobo to be the moral guide of the group? Uh, oh, they need a wreath. We don't have wreaths. Is that something we can make? Not there, we can't. Uh, crafting spot? Nope. Is that tech that we need? That might be tech that we need. T H 
togas. God, we picked... Oh, togas. Okay, they're right here. Um... Okay, well, I guess that's actually kind of important. Recurve bows seem a lot less important now, <laughs> to be honest. Because we have, like, guns. Pretty decent guns at that. Um... Yeah, so I guess after we figure out how to dry meat, it's taking us years to figure it out, but once we figure out how to dry meat, we're gonna learn how to make a wreath. <laughs> gonna try to, at least. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Oh god. Colony slowly falling apart. It's better than it was, right? We're still struggling a bit, but it's better than it was. Alright, Chocobo. I realize that, like... You're trying to cook meals first, which is important, but the stuff is literally everywhere. So after you're done doing whatever you're doing, butcher creatures. Because once the creatures are actually butchered, you should, in theory, use them to uh, to cook with instead of like running around all over the map picking up random apples. <laughs> I don't know if the squirrel was the best thing to start with. In the, the butchering process, but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna have you... Details... Drop. So that the butchering gets done quicker. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It seems a little gross leaving it outside. Just on the floor. But it doesn't actually matter from a gameplay perspective. And, uh... We don't have refrigeration tech right now, so it's going to spoil just as quickly outside as it is inside. Oh my god, we're getting some more research done. I'm so... I'm so proud, guys. Chocobo, you're starving? Um, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> we have food, though, right? Yeah, we have 23 meals, actually. Turns out all the hunting we did was good for us. So as soon as you're done doing all this butchering, you should go and uh, get a meal for yourself. Just don't, like, fall to the ground first or something. There you go. You're actually eating right now. Well, okay. You were eating, and then you fell to the ground. <laughs> oh, God. You're gonna be fine. Badly malnourished. You're a little drowsy. How's your your rest? Okay, you're rested up enough that you can you can get some damn food, man. <laughs> get some food in you, bro. Mr. Newell the mayor. So work drive. Call on a person to work harder for some time. Create an aura that boosts the combat skills of everyone. A trial. You can put people on trial. Then you can have a leader speech. Rousing speech intended to improve morale. Colonists will gather and the leader will speak for a few hours. If all go well, so listeners will feel inspired and gain respect. Huh. Okay. I think the moral guide is maybe the person that can help convert. Not positive, but... Do you have the skill to build dining chairs yet, Tom? <laughs> Nope, construction skill is still too low. What does your damn construction skill need to be to build to build a chair? It's a chair. You just build it, man. No one even says it has to be good. Just <laughs> Let's clean up our town a little bit. Deconstruct some of this stuff. Let's get some of this random junk hauled, hauled away. That's just laying around. Uh, select similar. I guess. That's not what I want to do, actually. I just want to grab... I'm pressing the wrong button. That's why it's messing up. Um, that stuff's like outside of town. Oh, I'm putting a haul urgent on it. That's not really what I want to do. I do want stuff to get hauled, but not that badly. <laughs> just, just... Okay, well, never mind. Everything's being hauled urgently. <laughs> Just, just regular haul, guys. Come on. Just trying to clean up the town a little bit. That's an urgent haul command again. It's fine. 
Why haul things regularly when you can haul it urgently? Even though it's not actually a problem at all. I like wasting time after all. Uh, I actually kind of want to leave the ones inside the prisoner area. Just because I like the idea of them using them as pillows. How are you doing anyways, Rutana? It is 45 degrees, so you're not going to freeze to death, but you're probably cold. No, you're, you're actually okay. Your resistance is 6.3, so it's going down. That does mean we'll uh, hopefully recruit you relatively soon. Yeah, you went from, what was it, like 13 or something. Down to 6. Yeah. Because I fucked up all them commands. Your <laughs> chocobos hauling things instead of, you know, cooking meals <laughs> so people don't die. That's fine, though. It's fine. The aurora will help boost everyone's mood because it looks really pretty in the sky. I like that. There we go. Make some food. All meat food, it looks like, but <laughs> it's fine. We need some protein in our diet, man. I've been eating nothing but apples, vegetables, and, and raw shit for so long now. <laughs> raw eggs in Chocobo's case, because really likes them raw eggs, man. Why did you go... I guess technically that was closer. It must not be checking like walking distance, just what's closer. Cause like we have this wood stockpile right over here. Oh, it's quite warm in here actually. 80 some degrees. I mean, that probably feels kind of nice after being outside in the freezing cold. Got so many meals. I love it. I love it. Hell yes, dude, let's go. I'm actually going to boost our meals a little bit now. Um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's do... These are just simple meals. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we're okay with where we're at. Meal-wise. Mr. Noodle, what's the mayor up to? I don't know if now's the best time to plant things. When is our growing season? I think it'll tell us. Apparently it's here now. No, it doesn't actually start until the 1st of April, May. But for some reason it's being flagged as a thing right now. So Noodle's, Noodle's replanting stuff. Hopefully we don't get another cold snap and just lose all of the plants that you're planting. But it's fine, whatever, who cares? <laughs> Yeah, our little colony hasn't really grown in size of like buildings or anything like that but I'll be damned if we're not in a much better place than we were last time we might actually survive what's our I think we did up our difficulty um, storyteller settings yeah we're on adventure, which is recommended for experienced strategy gamers on the first game of Rim World or one more players who want some breathing room. We're going to leave it on that for now, but soon, soon we're going to go up on Strive to Survive, which is where like some of the real challenges start to appear. We're still on Phoebe Chillax, so we're not going to be attacked like constantly, but still. Oh, we got an earthquake. Huh. I don't think I've ever had an earthquake before. Some of the mods that I have running do increase the, uh, like, add new events that can happen. So, I guess that's why. But I've never actually had an earthquake before. That's cool. Why was there a simple meal down there? The order that people do things in sometimes baffles me. 
They reach level 8 in crafting? Hell yeah, dude. Gonna be a pro in no time, man. Master crafter. Our little food area. Did we ever set up a shopping zone? I forget exactly how that works. There's a menu here somewhere. That allows us to pick, like, what can be shopped from and what can't and stuff like that. Guests. Map settings. Shopping area. None. No, we want... Shop. There we go. They can go anywhere they want. But... but they can shop from here. So if they want to buy some food, they may. Which, probably not a good time to turn that on, all things considered. You know, with the fact that we've been struggling to get food recently, but we're doing okay for now. Which, in this case, I guess I will actually go ahead and put in... We'll start some of the, the better meal options. The lavish and fine. We're not going to worry about, like, vegetarian and stuff right now. Um, fine meal times four, lavish meal times four. Okay. So we want to have these in, like, reverse order. Fine. And then... Lavish. No, that's backwards. There we go. Do until. Details. Uh. I don't know. Uh. Try to keep like 25 of the nicer meals. And then start cooking more when we are down to, like, 10. Same with fine. We're actually, we'll literally just copy in uh, paste. Mr. Noodle has gotten sick. <laughs> Incompetent cook made their food. I wonder... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to copy... I guess we need to make our own custom settings for this one. So we're doing, what, 30 normally? So we'll, like, have that 15 and, like, I don't know, 5. Close. Copy, paste. Fuel. Oh, we can change, like, the, the fuel options? That's kind of cool. Right now, we only have one type of fuel. Chocobo and Elle are getting married! Aw. That means they'll finally be able to share a bed and have a private bathroom. <laughs> So they don't have to be miserable about not having a bathroom. Or, well, I mean, I guess not having a bathroom doesn't really make them miserable, but they'll they'll get a buff, at least. Uh, Nate's also gotten sick from a bad cook. Huh. Who's the bad cook? Because Chocobo's our main cook, and they're pretty decent, right? I mean, at level 8, that's nothing to laugh at. Weird. I feel like L does more time refueling crap than actually hauling stuff, which is what we want her to do is haul things. <laughs> uh, major break risk? Nate. Nate, what's wrong, bud? Why are you in a bad mood? Did you have hypothermia? I mean, you're also in intense pain. Oh, because of the food poisoning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dark, you're chilly, you're hungry. I mean, you're allowed to eat food. No one's stopping you. You ate without a table. We have plenty of tables to eat at. <laughs> you slept in the heat. You're mad that your room is too hot, but then you're mad that it's cold outside. Look, bud. <laughs> I don't freaking know what to tell you here. Like... <laughs> oh, God. 
You guys are so fucking needy. What are you doing anyways, other than just throwing up all over the place? Okay, legit. You're doing some, some colony management stuff. Mr. Noodle reached level 4 in cooking? You're, you're cooking? You must be making like your own home cooked meals or something. Presumably. Clean up your house a bit. Very nice, very nice. And now go into bed. Yep. L, you're the only person awake. What are you doing? Oh, you're in bed. <laughs> and good. Our food's rotting away. I mean, that's the other reason why I think it's a good idea to probably start selling a little bit of it. Because otherwise, it's just going to keep rotting away, man. Yep. A lot of plants are dying because it's cold outside. Because for some reason, Noodle had the bright idea of growing food in the middle of winter. <laughs> I guess maybe what we could do. Can we just, like, select all like this? Yeah. So disallow sewing until until winter's over. We're just gonna have to try and remember to um gonna have to try and remember to to turn that back on. <laughs> okay, there's some harvestal plants. So yeah, harvest harvest the crap that can be harvested. Get whatever food we can before everything dies again. Chocobo, or not Chocobo, uh, Noodle, that means you. Whenever you're done managing the colony, you know, doing your mayoral stuff. You look fantastic with your, your bandana, your fez. <laughs> like, uh... Love it. It's great. Got some ambrosia. Ambrosia is kind of like a drug. It makes people happy whenever they eat it, but it might be addictive. I don't remember. So it's not something like, I don't know. It's good and bad to have around, honestly. Okay, wood's good. Thank you for getting the wood, but maybe, maybe get the food because the food's going to die first. Oh, somebody else harvested a bunch of the food. Excellent. Chocobo finally reached level one in social. You're gaining social skills. How wonderful. I see some metals on the map, but um, I'm weary to harvest any of them, to collect any of them, because it will uh, increase the the wealth of our colony. And the higher your wealth is, the more, the harder your, your raids will be whenever people attack you. Meat drying's down to, s almost down to 600. Mr. New just doesn't have much time to do it. We did increase somebody else's research priority, right? Who was it? Chocobo. I guess you're just too busy cooking most of the time, though, to really... To really research. Oh, and Nate. We increased his as well. Chocobo sucks at it, though. Like, he likes doing it, so we're gonna let him keep doing it, but he's really not good. <laughs> he's actually kind of bad, to be honest. Visitors from the Covenant have arrived at Rueville. They're afraid to enter your territory because of temperature. Uh, no, you're fine. You're fine. We have... We have fires. See the rooms the rooms are warm. Come on in. Yes, get get some rooms, pay some some money. Uh feel free to to buy some food before it rots. <laughs> Cuz I imagine it's probably going to go bad sitting over there. Uh you can eat some raw potatoes. That's <laughs> the only other food we really have on hand at the moment. So, you know, take your pick. Rotting food or raw potatoes, both are fine. Chocobo's cooking more food. Excellent, I love it. Oh, I forgot about this down here. The little storage basket. Yeah, we just kind of threw that there because it was in someone's room, wasn't it? Um, it would make more sense to have this up here. It's going to look dumb being right in front of the shelves. But we're going to move that up there. Tom, what are you doing? You're fishing? No. 
I want you to... Not the peppers. Not not that. Oh, you know what? Maybe we had to right-click the destination. Yes, there we go. Do that. Get that moved. It'll make a lot more sense to have the food stored in the uh, in the main, you know, cooking area instead of all the way down there in the... I mean, it is a storehouse, but still. And I think the priorities and thing... I think all that stays the same. Yeah, plant matter. Okay. Just leave it on default. Wait, what was that? Uncooked? Soups. I thought it said spices. We got an alpaca? I mean, we don't have it, and we're going to kill it. But... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's besides the point. I forgot to set up our livestock thing for lions. Uh, lion. So we want to keep three adult females around. Um, two adult males. And then the babies will just leave whatever. Butcher excess. Uh, not when they're pregnant. Don't care if they're trained. Uh, actually, I guess I do care if they're trained. And teach them to haul. Manage. So, I mean, again, may not ex think of them as... Uh... Oh, wait, we have dessert? Was that what the pink thing was? We actually had some dessert. Anyways, you may not think of them as as livestock, but they technically are. Hope you guys are enjoying your stay. Your stay in these these very basic rooms, but hey, it's something, okay? Tom's just going for a walk. Noodle is consuming simple meals. Chocobo's playing horseshoes. I really want someone to spend some time researching, man. Learning how to dry meat would be huge. Huge, let me tell you. Because presumably it either doesn't expire or lasts a really, really long time, one or the other. Oh, Mr. Noodle is cooking? Your cooking is set to a four. You should be researching. Unless somebody else is already researching. That's why. I mean, I guess that's fine. As long as somebody's doing it. I would prefer it to be the best person, but those two are tied actually, aren't they? For research. Yeah, six and six, so. I wonder if that's where the low cooking thing came from. Is Noodle a good cook? I don't remember. Level 4, so not bad. Not necessarily good, but that might be where everyone got food poisoning from. It might all be Noodle's fault. Kind of went two chairs. It's a little makes it a little off-center, but having two chairs to, to play... Uh, chess at I think would be nice just try not to like lean back into the fire or something our garlic plants caught blight I mean that's fine I guess <laughs> it's kind of annoying but at the same time we can't grow anything right now regardless so does it really matter if it has blight I don't think so tis what it is that's what I say Attractiveness, 128. So if our goal is 100. Wait, why are these? Huh. We can charge more for little beds than we can the big beds? Is it because these have the fires in them?
Like maybe the, the fires are very ugly. What was the key for that? Was it T? Yeah. No. That makes no damn sense, man. <laughs> like, how is it that these larger rooms are less attractive to to purchase than these little ones with the worst beds? Is the are the beds the beds themselves suck? That's why. Oh. Well, that's annoying. I didn't even think of that. So we're going to want to uninstall these, essentially, and make sure that, like, when we build them next time, they're actually built well and not, like, trash. Oh, your resistance broke. Yes, dude. That means that we should be getting them as a, uh, as a call-in as soon, which will be, I guess, Hattie? Because Chocobo is the one that actually put in the request. But if I remember correctly, Chocobo put it in saying for Hattie. Oh, please don't eat our meals, lions. Like, you can go hunt food or something like that. We're going to have to... Animals. Manage areas. New area. Animals. Okay, so I think... Can we do something like... Expand allowed area, animals. Don't let them in here and here. Um, and any of the storehouses. I think we, <clears throat> I think there's a way to like invert. I think. I, I hope. <laughs> there may not actually be. Expand a lot areas. Animals. Colonists will not accept or fulfill their needs outside their expand a lot area. I mean, otherwise I can just set it like by hand. It'll just be much more annoying. But I thought there was a way to like set stuff and then invert it. areas. It'd be very handy if there was. Can't right click. Uh, clear school, expand school, growing zones, deconstruct. Damn it, I guess not. All right, so we need to do the opposite then. Clear, clear, clear. Unless it was under the animal thing. It's like if we go here, manage areas. There's the invert button. Damn it, we literally just cleared it too. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, it's fine. Do it again. I knew there was an invert button somewhere. I should have just left it. You can go to the storage area because we do have them trained to haul. Oh, shit. We got Rutana. Let's go, dude. Another new colonist. Uh, That means we're going to have to build them a house next time, probably, because we are out of time for the night. I just want to remember to do this. Otherwise, I'll definitely forget. Okay. I think that's all the food areas that we have right now. So then we want to go to animals, manage invert and select there we go like that i think so oh and then in the manager settings we can set it to automatically restrict animals to area we have way too many um there we go i guess the should we let the babies? 
I'm wondering if we should let the babies like eat our food or whatever, go around our food. I don't know though. Okay, so I don't forget though, we need to click on Rutana. Go to bio, change, Hattie. Done. And done. Excellent. Let's set their work schedule and then I think we're pretty much done for the night, guys. Okay, let's do the normal stuff. Uh, you're a terrible doctor, that's a no. All plus, basic, finish people off. You're a good warden. You're also good with the animals. Excellent constructor. Well, at least has double passion for it. You like to grow things, dude. Rutana is going to be a wonderful addition, honestly. Okay. If there's stuff to manage and you're good at managing, just do it. That's that's for everyone. Um, constructing. Entertaining, wardening. Entertaining and warden, wardening is going to be like a level 3 thing for you. Because we have Nate kind of doing that stuff already anyways. And Noodle. Um, but if there's anything to construct, do that. And then you can help grow and plant cut. Then hunting will be a level four. Same with fishing. Then everything else will be a level nine. Oh, except for animal handling. That can... That can come pretty early too. You're not very good at it, but Tom in theory should handle it before you get around to it. But if, if not, then go ahead and do it. Uh, would be nice to get you a decent bed, I guess. Uh, they offer to keep your colony safe from any threats, even the ones potentially caused by them. Refusals can an anger the, th I mean, we're not paying them. We're probably going to get attacked. But anyways, uh, since these rooms kind of suck anyways for now, we're going to turn off for guests and give it to Hattie. Just so they have somewhere to sleep. And then they can... We'll give them a real a real house next time. Uh, things are looking up for our little colony, man. I think once winter's over, which should be soon we can actually start expanding our colony which i mean would be excellent you know like building new buildings and things maybe getting the the prison area set up uh getting hattie a home workshops would be really nice i still have to think of how to lay out nate's new home or larger home uh yeah dude Oh my god, maybe we can get a full-time researcher soon. That might be what Rue ends up being, because Rue's the next person to get recruited. If they're decent at researching, they're probably going to be a full-time researcher. Honestly, we need more of that. Anyways, those guys. Anyways, those guys. Anyways, though, guys. That is all we have time for tonight. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me. I know it's pretty late for, for most of us. Uh, thank you guys that stuck it out for sticking it out. I'll be back tomorrow, Saturday. So Sunday with the podcast, I believe we're going to be talking about Cuphead. And then Monday, Tuesday, we'll be playing some PS2 stuff. So, oh, and Monday. That's right. Monday's normally my day off. But on Monday, we're going to be playing a little bit of Metal Gear Solid. So check that out too. Anyways, guys, thank you. Have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye. I don't see a map or a map button, but that's something that I could be 